Miranda's Marvelous Umbrella Adventure It was a very dull Saturday, and Miranda was standing on her head when she had an idea. Miranda went and asked her mother, Mom, can we go for a walk in the park? Hmm, replied her mother, who was reading a book. Dad, let's go for a walk in the park, Miranda told her father, who was sleeping in. Her father snored. David, do you want to go for a walk in the park? Miranda asked her brother, who was listening to music. La la la, David sang. None of her family seemed interested in going to the park, so Miranda decided she would go there by herself. She tied a scarf around her head and took an umbrella in case it rained. It was a grey, windy day outside, and soon Miranda felt the first spots of rain. When she opened her umbrella, something very unusual happened. Miranda felt her feet lift off the ground. Whee! she squealed as the umbrella pulled her up into the air. Bow wow wow! barked a dog, who was the only one to have seen what was happening. Miranda held on tightly to the umbrella as she was lifted higher and higher. Looking down, she could see the dog far below her. Then everything became misty as she entered the clouds. When Miranda emerged from the clouds, she saw blue sky above her. Rock! A passing seagull screeched at her. Hi there, Miranda replied. It wasn't long before Miranda began to float back down through the clouds. When she came out the other side, she was pleased to see the park below her. As Miranda was coming into land, her umbrella got caught in the branches of a tall tree. Miranda had to cling to one of the branches to stop herself falling. Excuse me, she called down to a woman below. Have you got a ladder? I'm stuck. Hold on, the woman told her. I'll get someone. While Miranda was waiting to be rescued, she helped a boy whose kite had become entangled in the tree. Soon, a red fire engine arrived with flashing lights and a wailing siren. A fireman took a ladder off the fire engine and used it to rescue Miranda. You shouldn't climb up trees if you can't climb back down again, he told her. I didn't climb up, Miranda said. I floated down. Well, I think we better take you home, the fireman said. Hurry up, a voice called out from the fire engine. There's a house on fire in Green Street. Miranda soon found herself riding in the fire engine as it raced towards Green Street. What does this button do, she asked, pointing at one of the buttons on the panel in front of her. Push it and find out, one of the firemen said. When Miranda pushed the button, a loud siren went off. We need one of those to wake Dad up in the morning, she commented to herself. When they reached Green Street, they saw smoke pouring out of a house. Hurry! Tammy's stuck! A girl cried, pointing up at a cat perched on a window ledge. Better get the ladder, one of the firemen said. Oh no, the other fireman said. We left it in the park. Can I help? Miranda offered.
Miranda opened her umbrella, and a moment later the wind lifted her off the ground. The others watched in amazement as she floated up towards the window. Meow, the cat mewed, climbing onto Miranda's outstretched arm. Nice puss, Miranda reassured the cat as they floated back down to the ground. That's how I got stuck in the tree, Miranda explained to the fireman afterwards. Well, I'll be blowed, the fireman who had rescued her said. I'll see you get a medal for this. Miranda's family got quite a surprise when the fire engine arrived at their house and Miranda got out. What happened, they asked. Where have you been? Miranda wondered how to explain what had happened. Then she had an idea. <laughs>